just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Got the corner. He's at the 40, and down he goes, right around the 34. That's always a big blow to a defense to give up a long run like that. You'll see a lot of those guys hanging their head. It's first and 10, ball on the 34. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 20. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Second down, five to go. Ball on the seven-yard line. Tackle made around the five-yard line. catch the defense off guard with a play action pass there but by going to the ground they didn't have much of an open looks like they've decided to go for it here they're crowding that line of scrimmage feeds it to the back and he's in there touchdown Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. So that's a six-play, 61-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So our score, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 39. The Panthers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of the block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Well. 
They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Here's an opening. And he tackles him hard at the 40. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. They run it left. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. It's second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 50. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. From the 35-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. And he's tackled at the 10. That makes it second and two. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Panthers with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. and goal from the four looking for Pater. And it pays off. Touchdown. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. And he converts the extra point. A nice 10-play, 69-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He's tackled at the 29. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Pressured and brought down. 
But we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. He steps out around the 26-yard line. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 26. Slings it out and it gets tipped. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. Gets to about the 44-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That makes it second. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he hits him hard at the 44. That brings us third and 10. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Lost the ball, fumble! Makes it out to about the 39. From the 39-yard line, first down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. That's good for being three yards. That makes it the third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. First down, Grant. Brought down at the 22 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes it to the 22 yard line. From the 22 yard line, it's second down. throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Tenth play of the drive. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out 
to the 30. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Panthers have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Makes the grab past the marker. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. First and 10, all on the 48-yard line. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That'll bring up second and three. stop around the 25 yard line the Panthers call a timeout that's their second of the half tackle after a decent run up the gut He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. He's on the run. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 17-3, Panthers. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away.
All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Freshman makes the catch. He's all the way home. Touchdown. <laughs> Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and then come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. So we're just about ready to return to action. Second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Try to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Number 35 was intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. And he's immediately tackled. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Motion, motion, motion. There he goes. Tackle right around the 34. it out to about the 31 yard line. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 11 yard line.
Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From the 12-yard line, second down. And a quick throw. It's on a move. Touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. He makes the PAT. like they're ready for the kick. They'll bring him down at the 30. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. They're about four yards away here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 32. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 34. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And off, and he's met immediately. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. It's second and 13. Ball on the 30. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40 yard line. three yards to get the first down here on third down he's got it out to his tight end and he's tackled at the 45 the corner he's taken down at about the 35 first and 10 ball on the 35 yard line he scrambled and he got it he's all the way touchdown Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. 
He really got a hold of that kick. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. No, they haven't. So maybe they should just focus a bit more on the running game to mix it up and keep the defense guessing. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Gaining five yards. That brings them second and five. Second down and five. Ball on their own 30. That's three down and one to go. The Panthers with a three touchdown advantage. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Let's go, D. They come out in a five-wide set. He throws it. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 38-yard line. First down. He wants it all going long. Got his receiver. Touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. On the ground, left side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's good for him. Five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Mike four, Mike four. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. They're set to go for another round.
quickly and it's picked off. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Little handoff. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Got some open field. He goes out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Make the stop at the 46. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. Has some daylight. Runs outside for a nice game. The Panthers use their second time out. From the 40-yard line. Third down. They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, they've got the ball back, but they're still trailing. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. He's got it with room to run. And they push him out at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's to the 40, finds the freshman. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Just under two minutes in the game. Sends it out quick, intercepted. And it's the defense that delivers a knockout punch with that interception. From the 48-yard line, first down. They'll work the lane. Brought down to 37-yard line. From the 39-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. The Panthers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.